My name is Stavi, I'm from Ontario, and this is Patient Chronicles. My son is Jonathan Valenzuela. He was diagnosed with autism at age three. We saw beginning signs of the autism at about age one and a half. In September of this past year of 2016, he had a really rough month and to the point where we couldn't really focus on the girls. We couldn't focus on our careers. It just was very hectic. With him being diagnosed having autism, Every day was a challenge. Any socialization with going to the grocery store, with transitioning to different activities. His tantrums would last anywhere from one to three hours, sometimes all day. He would not sleep through the night. He couldn't really focus on what we were saying. He couldn't respond to his name. His eye contact was really poor. Potty training was a nightmare. When we first started potty training, he'd have about 10 accidents a day. So we started giving him uh, the medical cannabis and it has made a world of difference for him and for the quality of our home. The night we decided to use cannabis, we had gone to a birthday party for a friend of hers from high school. While at the party, Junior had been aggressive and systematically hitting all the kids before I had to leave to a work commitment. He was just coming up to every kid and just whacking them. Where just, just having somebody stand next to him, he couldn't stand the anxiety that I was giving him. My wife was a mess when I had to go to work. So on my way into work, she found out it had gotten even worse. We needed to hit the birthday kid. Every kid at the party got a hit from Junior. At night, we were sitting in the garage and we were at wit's end. It had been a long, hot summer. It had been frustrating and we felt like we hadn't gotten anywhere with Junior and it had been over a year of therapies. And up to that point, we hadn't tried any medication. We were trying to stay away from that because of any bad side effects that come with it. She looked at me and said, what do you think about cannabis? And believe it or not, I had been thinking the same thing. One in 68 children right here in the U.S. is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. And while a lot of uh, medications uh, have been proven ineffective over the years, one treatment right now has been giving some families some serious hope. And we're talking about medical marijuana. Right now he takes a Charlotte's Web. We give him 0.6 milliliters three times a day. We do the 0.6 milliliters and uh, we use the Walmart one milliliter syringe. It's the best one. And uh, we, get, we have a little line etched on it actually because all the markings ran off and Walmart is hesitant to give us more. <laughs> we have to go in and say, hey, uh, we have to call and be like, hey, can we get more? And then we just put it in here. And then we give it a second and we get the excess to make sure he gets a full dose. Let it sit again because we want to make sure you see all that excess. We want to make sure he gets every milligram that he's supposed to. And, okay. and then Junior will take it, no problem. He's used to it. Hey, Junior, here's your meds, buddy. We give it to him in a yogurt. Reason being is he really doesn't like the taste of it. He knows there's something in it and he's completely okay. He, it's, it's in a yogurt, sucks it through, chases it with the rest of the yogurt and he's absolutely fine. Junior had very limited communication skills before cannabis. He would appoint and things at grunt. You want a carrot? No, 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 no. This one? And when we'd get to the right item, he'd be like. I would say within the first week, he started speaking his first full sentence, which before he was only putting two words together. 
So I was laying him in bed, and I tell him, you know, Gina, just close your eyes and go to sleep. And he says, but it's dark in here. He says, it's too dark in here, I can't see. So I left him there, he went to bed. I came downstairs, and I told my husband, I said, you wouldn't believe what he just told me upstairs. He slept 10 hours straight. We had to go in and check and make sure he was still breathing. We couldn't believe it. I'm, I'm a paramedic, and I was like, what's, what's wrong with my son? And from that night, he's been having full senses. He's been completely social. He comes up to people, and his speech has made just such an improvement. Okay, spell zoo. Z-O-O. Zoo. How do you spell junior? Our family has noticed it, um, his teachers, his therapists, everybody has seen how much speech he has been able to have since. And that's when we knew, okay, this stuff is working because he went from only putting two words together to full sentences and talking about the weather, telling us what day it is, what, you know, what he sees, what he's feeling. And that's when we noticed, okay, this stuff is really working. Since day one of cannabis, I see a future. I see he wants to be a doctor, he wants to be a scientist, whatever. I could see him, you know, adequately achieving any goal he puts his mind to. Because right now the daily task that we have is try to figure out his behavior. Is it the three-year-old in him or is it the autism? Cannabis has made it that good where we can't differentiate with what behavior is showing. So I see a great future for him. It's amazing how our family life has changed from one day to the next, all because of giving him liquid CBD. I don't know if we'd still be here. I don't know if our marriage would still be here if we hadn't discovered this treatment for him because we were at wit's end. It was, it was not an easy thing.